The city of the future may not look like the city that we're living in right now. It may be all electric, how no about, gasoline. How about that? Eduardo Munoz is kind of at the cutting edge of this new technology and perhaps this new development in, yeah. in, in electricity and what our, what our transportation looks like. Eduardo, nice to have Hi. you here. So tell nice us a little here. bit about the project that you're working on and how that relates to L.A. Well, uh, the project started uh, seven years ago. Uh, we arrived to the U.S., uh, selected by the Department of Commerce first, then Governor's Office, then University of California. So we were back in time already talking about shared electric mobility uh, and already talking about autonomous vehicles and how autonomous technology will change this reality that we're, we're facing right now. Uh, being in L.A. is natural because here's the, maybe the biggest problem around traffic. Uh, so the studies uh, determine that uh, there are 27 billion in losses produced by traffic every year in the city. So I would say that there's a good business to, to yeah, take it's a good care business of. to ta tackle. Yeah. Okay, so so the idea though is to have basically large carpools of people in these vehicles that electric vehicles that you're creating, but you're doing something interesting with the vehicles to make it more enticing for more people to want to be a part. Because people don't want to be in buses. Nobody wants to be, they in, don't a bus, be in a bus. And they certainly don't want to be in a ride share. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's something we studied a lot. So uh, the, gr the great challenge was to create a vehicle in which uh, more people were able to travel in the same vehicle, but at the same time sort of, sort of have some privacy and uh, always a pleasant thing. Right. Uh, the problem we faced at the beginning is uh, that there's no vehicle today that match uh, those uh, criteria. Yeah. Criteria. So right. uh, first, uh, every van in the market today has no safety in the back part. No. So safety ends in the driver's seat. Uh, they're really uncomfortable, uh, bad to get on. They're ugly. Yeah. They're the experience, yeah. the user experience is really awful. Awful, yes. So we really focus ourselves first to uh, understand that this is a new piece of infrastructure for the city. Uh -huh. uh, so we believe this is a new piece of infrastructure and as, as a piece of infrastructure needs to be a system. It's not about vehicles anymore, it's about a system. So in, we needed to, to reinvent the whole thing is, is, uh, from the way we source the energy, uh, the electric vehicles, the, the materials that we use for the vehicles mm -hmm. bring them weight down. Uh, it's a concept that we uh, named augmented efficiency. It's about cutting all the inefficiencies of the actual system with new technology. So the autonomous version of that, the, uh, that would take care of some of the inefficiencies because as, as human drivers, we're very inefficient, right? So the autonomous vehicles have a better way of operating within this new system you're creating? Yeah, they, they are, uh, with technology, you're more able to work like a schoolfish, right? It's, it's, ah, it's, more, it's yeah. more like a going in with the mood, right? Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, uh, it's like dancing. So basically, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's about bringing efficiency in all senses, using artificial intelligence, uh, connect, uh, connectivity, uh, blockchain technology. There are different things that uh, are put all together to get to this augmented efficiency concept. Okay, but what does it look like on the inside? Because I'm not getting in a van, Eduardo, <laughs> uh, with a bunch of people in a van going somewhere. It looks like a business class thing uh, what does the, that in mean? an airplane. That means that you have your own seat, you can go back, you, you have your own entertainment system. Uh, you have connectivity to the internet, you can work, you can put your computer out. Uh, see, see what, that makes more sense See, what's to interesting me. about that is that right. I think the younger millennials will really gravitate to that. Yeah. Where those of us who kind of, we're married to our cars, we're married to our individuality, that's going to eventually go away, don't you think, as, as, as the younger people come on board? I mean, because yeah, now, I, they I, love I, taking I, the bus, they mm -hmm. love taking the train. I'm not as young as, as I look. <laughs> <laughs> so I always was in a generation where having a car was like number one. Uh, today, uh, from millennials and centennials, and going worst, uh, it's seventh place. So having a vehicle is not an added value for these new generations. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we see, for example, in locations like, like LA or Silicon Valley, for example, Silicon Valley in the, in the, in the Bay Area, you have more than 600,000 people living outside of the Bay Area today, but they work in the, the Bay Area. That means two hours one way, two hours oh, back. Oh, it's horrible. Mm -hmm. By yeah. way yeah. back. So those people lose four hours of the day every day. We do that here yeah. all the time. Easy in LA so, all the time. Uh, just imagine you jump into the van just in the, uh, close to your house or at your house depending on the service you're paying uh, and you simply go working. And you can work the you know, whole way exactly. there. You, will, you, know? you work so the whole how, way. How does, how does you only, you only uh, get in your agenda the meetings at your, at the, at mm -hmm. the your job and then you get there earlier. How, so how you're, does, you're getting four hours back. It's, that's it's amazing. This, the time savings is amazing as would be the energy savings as well. But how does a guy from Argentina get involved in LA? How did that happen for you? 
Uh, it's a long story. <laughs> so I, I'm wearing TV, but uh, for another day then. <laughs> yeah, basically we had some issues with our Argentinian government. We decided to uh, hear to the call at the time uh, President Obama was doing to mm -hmm. uh, all entrepreneurs around the world to come to the U.S. and create value. And, and, we, here, you and here you are. Well, wow. Eduardo, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Wish thank you the very best of luck. We can't wait to get in one of those cool vans. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what it is. Thank you. We'll be right back.